Salutations, Shish Kebab Skewers, it's Automatic for Automatic Games bringing you yet another in a series of videos showcasing the adventures of Knight Commander Autumn Durga, our Brotherhood of Steel build for Fallout 4. It's been a minute since we've caught up with the Autumn Durga series. Morning, Captain Oliver. Morning, ma'am. I listened to those audio logs. Assemble your platoon. Uh, right away, ma'am. I assume we're going to pay a visit to West Everett Estates. West Everett Estates. It was from this location that ground fire took down a vertebrate, designation Tomahawk. That was during the Brian Wilkes series. Primary among Autumn Durga's characteristics is, um, vengeance. That much we learned from her series. This ground fire was delivered by, uh, Super Mutants, the traditional enemy of the Brotherhood. And true to form, Durga wastes no time in seeking retribution. Now there's various reasons why I decided to do this standalone addition to the Durga series. Chiefly among them would be my opportunity to narrate outside of first person. Um, and now that I have that opportunity, I'm at a loss for words. Well, let's just mention some of the mods that I've been downloading. Campsite by Fading Signal. Submarine Dauntless by Pinji J12. Break for the action here. In this particular video, I'm using FCOM military squad based mod by Mad God Oh, okay, by Mad God Shio Gareth Yeah, I know how to say his name but I do not abide by Daedric Tricksters especially the Trickster guy Nice Anyhow, uh, another player home was the Voyager, the old ship, by Man Bear Frank. We have, uh, more movement ahead, Commander. Fine by me. Fine by her. Um, let's see. We, I also downloaded the Remington Revolver 1858 by Pimply Pete, and he deserves some face cream for making that quality mod. That's good stuff. And a suit variants by R97R, who is uh, probably a droid. Next and when it comes to modders, I think I, I need to mention Andrew CX again. Um, the man is non-stop with the mods, and whether they're ammo converters, costume parties, be them coats, gloves, etc. Oh, here's some tripwire. No, he, he keeps himself, he's a very busy man. He keeps putting out mods, and I for one appreciate them. Despite the gunfire just down the road, uh, the super mutants at West Everett Estate seem rather oblivious to the impending threat. Alpha Platoon on standby behind Knight Commander Durga as she calls in the thunder.
here we catch a glimpse of uh, the Rocketeer Super Mutant. He's likely the one that took down Vertebird designation Tomahawk. Now, he poses a significant threat to Alpha Platoon. Durga engages, risking getting blown to smithereens. Problem solved. As new problems present themselves. But her 44 is not to be trifled with. She'll move up with this nice sergeant. And momentum seems to be on their side. Though the place is not quite secure yet. There we go. Area secure. And you know these soldiers, they... They talk about Autumn Durga. They discuss how she walked, or, well, yeah, she took a vertebrate and then walked to the boathouse brothel, went inside, leveled her revolver at a traitor, and pulled the trigger, only to sit down and order a drink afterward. We'll never know if Durga appreciates this kind of storytelling. But she knows it serves a purpose. The message is do not defect, desert, or even doubt. Retribution will be swift, as it was with these super mutants. Now before we close out, I'd like to say a thing or two to uh, my supporters, subscribers, and commenter, no commentators, it would be commentators, I think, or is it commenters, well that's a, that's a puzzle for another day, Such a puzzle. I can safely say at this juncture that if you click on any of those commentator names, you'll find good material on the other side, provided by people that have been on YouTube a lot longer than I have been, and that are old hands at this. Um, I don't care if it's Noisy Boy with his Fallout 4 videos or his Battlefront videos that got me hooked and now I own Battlefront and some DLC, or Mark Jackson with his Fallout 4 videos or his Doom videos, which I'm afraid to watch because it'll get me hooked and I'll buy that and the DLC, or Brylight35 with his uh, Mountain Blade Warband, which is an awesome game with a ton of mods and I enjoy watching those. My point is, you just can't lose with those guys, and um, and I'm kind of competing with a poorly timed personal hygiene broadcast that Dirk is listening to, so um, I'll close out the video here, but before I do, I want to stress one point, make sure I get this across, uh, that, that I'm filled with sincere gratitude for, for you guys that have subscribed, uh, that like really love the comments. You know, I'd make these videos anyways, but I'd putter out after a couple weeks if it weren't for the comments. I mean, honestly, that's probably what keeps all of us going, but I should only speak for myself. Anyhow, speaking for myself, you've got a big high five and a thank you from me. I'll, uh, I'll be back 
it'll be a week and a half or so. But uh, thanks for watching as usual. And um, and that ought to wrap it up for this little flick. If you liked it, like it. Guys, I'm going to be going on vacation, beach bound. Uh, so other than the next video, the Brian Wilkes recap, it'll, it'll be a while, a week and a half before you hear from me again. Have fun and thanks for watching.